Hi everyone, it's your weather woman, meteorologist Amy Metz. I'm gonna look at the water vapor today and show you guys what's going on in the tropics, areas that I'm interested in right now and see what's up there. So if you have questions, go ahead, let me know in the comments, I can answer them here. And if you happen to ask them later after this live is over, then I can do that on my next stream. So of course, or, you know, comment back to you if I'm not too busy since the severe weather's done in the States where I'm working. Otherwise, this is what I'm looking for next for the next development. Uh, could be Darby coming up here, forming in the Eastern Pacific Basin. We have another... Okay, it's back. I don't know what is going on with this thing. Let me check and make sure I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. I'm not. <laughs> okay, it disconnected. Um, so now that I'm on the Wi-Fi again, I shouldn't have an issue. But here we go with this is um, Bonnie now fizzling out in the Pacific. So as it's going north, west, it will continue to get cooler, cooler water inside of it and weaken, which is what's going to happen to this storm. So I do believe this will form in the next uh, couple of days here, but follow a similar path. Uh, you know, maybe category one, category two storm, and end up moving toward the northwest as well, out to sea. Um, otherwise, there's one area I've been watching for um, that I want to see how oh, it doesn't show up on here. I want to see how this one is going to develop. Um, this is water vapor now. It's kind of like available moisture content. Let me see if I can get this model here to show me any kind of satellite from that far away. Here we go. Yeah, so we do get this satellite plume still. This is where I first saw this yesterday. And so this is now what we call tropical wave with a disturbance, a thunderstorm um, batch in the west coast of Africa. And so what happens with that is that it can sometimes form into hurricanes as they continue traveling west. Um, you know, depending on how conditions are right now, they are somewhat favorable as far as warm water and the uh, effects from the flow of where this would go could potentially create some kind of a hurricane with that moisture plume. So that's the next area I'm watching for. Otherwise, once again, there's another batch of moisture firing off in line after another set of storms. So we've just had one after another here, all pretty much doing the same thing. Agatha was the one that was a little different. And Bonnie, who's here now, where I'm circling, was also a little different because it formed over um, in the Atlantic Basin, got close to the Gulf, trailed across Nicaragua, and went over there. So it's the B from Bonnie and the Atlantic Basin name set, whereas Darby, that is very likely to be forming next, would then be from the set of names from the Eastern Pacific Basin. Uh, and then, yes, what about that? And <laughs> that would be an Eastern Pacific Basin storm, most likely, unless, of course, um, well, we have a ridge coming up here. And there's one tiny little chance that some of this could cause an extended front that would uh, kind of give a tail and whip some of this toward the northeast and some of the moisture toward the west. Um, otherwise, for the states, um, it does have an effect, too, of course, what kind of wind patterns are going on here. And just so you know, the upper level winds, you can kind of see here with the clouds, uh, we're getting a ridge setting in. So pretty soon here, we're going to have a lot of things going this way, overshooting the U.S., all of our weather. And in that case, it makes it easier for storms to funnel in up north toward the U.S. So if we had something forming over here in the next week or so, or right here, it would very likely uh, want to come into the Gulf. But since these things are so far off right now, far away, it probably wouldn't be forming for another uh, week and a half in this region, which means by that time we'd probably be out of this high pressure ridge situation and back into a system more like what we're looking at here where there is weather and push factors that are digging into the south that then push against the hurricanes that might otherwise come in toward this region. So I'll just keep watching and of course letting anybody know as soon as possible if there's any threats to land like you know just the mudslides um, that are soon going to be a threat to Mexico and Central America just because of how many storms have already dropped so much rain there. Um, so now that we're getting into that part of the season where they've already had three or four storms in the same areas, right here a lot of rain, and right into here a lot of rain. It could start to become a little more tricky with the flash floods and mudslides. Otherwise, 
everywhere else has not been hit yet and um, so far so good nothing developing at the moment coming toward land so that's usually my goal here is to be able to <laughs> um, share good news <laughs> it doesn't always happen so um, either way it's a uh, best to be prepared and not scared so nice to see that um i can tell there's something coming along there by africa because of course it's going to happen at some point or another but i'll definitely just keep you guys aware and always yeah, go ahead down below hit the comments if you have any kind of questions um i'll also do my live streams on youtube starting soon um as soon as they start affecting land worse i'll be on there regularly or else there's a show I'm trying to start from my house, um, a weekly show called The World of Weather I've been wanting to do. So I have an intro done for it. I have some different things. How about Fiji? Thanks. I have, um, so in Fiji, thanks for the comment. Uh, how are you doing today? It's been pretty calm as far as rain goes. There's not a lot of rain. There was a lot of wind. You don't have any storms coming your way. And so um, it's just going to be probably like a nice cool day. I didn't look at your winds today yet, actually, but I'm so interested to see what they look like now. Um, but the data I have in front of me doesn't show me that. So I'll go ahead on my next live stream, though. I'm going to include Fiji in that, the live stream I do on YouTube. And I'll just share it here because that style is a little different. Instead of flipping my screen and showing you my computer screen, I'll actually do a screen share. And then um, I can come on to here and it looks a lot better than you know it's like easier to see but other you know i can at least go to windy and check out fiji right now this way anyway because yo oh yeah you are still windy i was curious you have a little convergence going on uh the convergence is when air runs into each other and this is at the surface so um yeah it just looks like maybe a few gusts especially right around the outer parts of the island um upslope winds from the east so a little stronger with the winds on the eastern portions if you're hanging out um in fiji today on the uh west side of the of the mountain ranges you're gonna be a lot more calm i accidentally zoomed this zoom thing okay i got a new mouse it's wild i barely touch it and it's like whoa like i rolled it once so whatever <laughs> um but how and have a nice day everybody um yeah expect some winds there but not really any um any rain. This is the satellite view, just to reiterate that. You'll have a little bit of cloud cover, but no big storms and really none on the horizon either. It's really India and the Philippines that have been so drenched lately. And you're welcome, Aprosa. So yeah, India, the Philippines has been, it's been pretty nonstop. So I'm getting a little worried for them as far as mudslides go. I'll start checking the news and try to wrap that into that wow the world of weather weekly show that i want to do um, another tropical depression had just left the japan area and is still then wow dragging this it pushed this moisture plume way up there the other day and now it's dragging it back down so um that means extra rain for them too but overall um the news is pretty good that um after these big tornado outbreak well, we didn't really quite have a tornado outbreak we had wind outbreaks called a derecho uh really widespread bad damages with severe weather in the united states this week and now that's over uh, and so are those other two big storms that were by the philippines and japan so good news in the end there hopefully everyone can have a nice weekend and enjoy the weather so i'll see you guys later and have a nice day